Naam mtazamaji karibu tena kwenye upeo wa TV47 sasa hivi moja kwa moja tunaingia kwenye majadiliano yetu ikiwa ni Jumatatu uhuru sheria na haki na leo hii ni masala ya mazingira sheria za mazingira zipo lakini humu duniani tumeshuhudia watu wengi wakigoma ama wakiingia barabarani kupinga um, sheria ambazo ziko na kama zinatumika vizuri kudhibiti mazingira yasiharibike zaidi na sasa hivi mgeni wangu hapa studioni ni Godfrey Onyango ambaye ni mwanasayansi na kiongozi wa wataalamu uh, katika mamlaka ya neema karibu sana Godfrey Just Environment Foundation Environment Foundation Just Environment Foundation Aha. karibu sana yes. sasa tunazo taasisi nyingi sana ambazo zinathibiti masala ya mazingira humu nchini kwa nini atuoni uh, atuoni lolote ambalo limeweza kuboreshwa katika miaka ambayo imepita. Um, asante sana bwana Cliff kwa kuuliza hiyo swali na pia asante sana kwa kunialika hapa studio. Uh, na ningependa kusema hivi taasisi ziko. Sheria ziko. Atuhitaji sheria zingine mpya. Shida kwa Kiingereza tunasema enforcement kufuata hiyo sheria ili tulinde mazingira je inakosekana mm -hmm. in other words there is no political goodwill mm -hmm. we don't see mambo ya mazingira yakitiliwa maanani mm -hmm. sasa hivi hivi vipengee ambavyo vipo katika katiba yetu mm. ni vya kazi gani iwapo hatuna yeyote wewe na, ni mwanasayansi na vile vile ndio kiongozi wa wataalamu katika uh, mamlaka yes, ya neema si mimi na mimi ni lead expert kwa neema naam yes lakini sasa hivi kwa nini hatuoni lolote likifanyika licha ya wewe kuwa katika uh, kwa okay. mamlakani okay kitu ningependa kusema ni hivi kwanza unajua kitaka kulinda mazingira lazima serikali itoe rasilimali ya kutosha Rasilimali itaguzia mambo ya kuajiri ofisa wa kutosha. Hiyo sio nikifanyika. Hii ya kwanza. Mimi napo, no, napo eh, vile ndipo hapa, mimi niko kwenye hii NGO inaitwa Just Environment Foundation. We deal with the issue of environment. Na ukiangalia vile mazingira inazidi ku ku, 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 ku degraded. Inakuonyesha kwamba something is wrong kama gani kama gani for example takataka tuanzia Mombasa mpaka Busia hebu mm -hmm. niambie town gani iko safi to the high standard it's not there leaking sewage everywhere utaona ah kuna sahi mambo ya kukata miti changamoto mau ni mwenye kwenye ni mwana kwenye runinga yenu hapa mambo ya mau ni changamoto ukienda ziwa victoria Water high since ndio hiyo. Mm -hmm. Ukienda uh, issue kama for example last year tulikuwa na solar dam disaster. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let us not discuss it because in the court there's issue of demerits and the merits of what is going in the court. But mm -hmm. the issue is very simple. Wewe muone mtu anatengeneza dam ujia milima na watu wanaishi chini. Maji dam ikipasuka ndio ina na watu. Then kuna issue ya climate change. Mm -hmm. Shida kuna disconnect kati ya the laws which have already been made and the people who are supposed to use them mm -hmm. kuna wasayansi katikati mm -hmm. hapa it is researches zinafanywa mingi zinafikia wananchi namna gani mm -hmm. somehow mm -hmm. the issue ni rasilimali itoshi mm -hmm. ya kutumiwa ili hizi sayansi zote wametengeneza zifikia watu huko mm -hmm. and then kuna issue enforcement mm -hmm. enforcement kwa nini aduzingatii sheria zile zimewekwa kulinda mazingira mm -hmm. katiba is very clear tuna hata hizo law ile tulipitisha 2010 mimi sijaona umetilia maana ni vipengee vya ya kulinda mazingira for example mm -hmm. article 42 mm -hmm. every kenyan has a right to clean and healthy environment kwa, ki, kwa Kiswahili kila mkenya anashaja kupata mazingira bora na safi Mm -hmm. Yes. Naomba sasa nikukate haya yote yamefanyika. Mazingira yes. yetu ni chafu. Yes. Nini kinafaa kufanywa kutoka hapa kwenda mbele? Mimi ningeomba hivi. Hii mambo ya workshop mingi mingi hizo tunaenda nao kwenye sasa ni mwana kwa rungi ninga hapa bwana Tobiko. Tobiko ana amefungua washa wanawake wanaumia na kadhalika. Mm -hmm. That is not enough. 
we need to go to the ground, mm -hmm. implement the laws. We can implement the laws, follow the, the book to the letter. If somebody is encouraging, take him to court. Lakini uh, mtu atauliza uh, tunayo yes. koti ya mazingira humu nchini. Yes. Nafanya kazi gani wewe kama wakili? Mimi si wakili. Mimi na usika na mwewe. Lakini nafanya kazi na wakili. Mm -hmm. Yes. So utakuta koti ziko. Na nimezema kitu moja awali ya kwamba. Kuna issue ya, maz... Kuna issue ya resources. Mimi vile naonelea ukiangalia hata kitengo la nema they're not getting enough resources in my own view they need to get enough resources sasa nema ifanye nini ili kufanya kazi yake vizuri hawana hawana wafanye kazi wa kutosha hiyo i can you can go and do your own research utakuta uta, uta, hawana enough resources i believe that they may not say it but what is happening outside is there to be seen for example kuna kitu inaitwa environmental audit Mhm. Mm Ile ifanyo kwa jengo lote linatengenezwa, si ndio? Mhm. Mm Ama kama project linakuja. Utakuta sana sana projects zinafanywa, mm -hmm. yes, they're supposed to audit and all those kind of things. But utakuta there is always a shortfall of all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sasa tumeshuhudia mali asili kama vile mito, kama vile maziwa yakikauka. Yes. yes. Um, hili linawacha wapi mwananchi wa kawaida haswa mwanamke ikikumbuka kwa kiria kotobiko amefungua warsha ya siku mbili. Ni nini ambacho kita saidi, uh, itasaidia nini? Na warsha kama hizi haswa zinasaidia nini kwa jamii? Kwa kwanza ningependa kurekebisha hii mambo alikuwa anasema ni mwanamke pekee ataumia. Hata wazee wataumia na watoto na watoto uh -huh. kwani huyo ma, huyo mama na wazee si oda za watoto si wanaishi kwa jumba moja anasema wazee wanaenda nje wanakuja wanakuja kuuliza chakula natoka wapi okay the issue is very simple uh -huh. kuna global climate change hali ya hewa inabadilika na ni kulingana na sisi binadamu mienendo yetu sio sawa sawa tunakata miti tuikata miti hii miti kwa Kiingereza kuna what is called transpiration and kadhalika mm -hmm. na hii yote the tree ina kwa Kiingereza wanasema wana inafanya inafanya photosynthesis and this is carbon dioxide i mean this is the oxygen na hiyo oxygen wote itumia na mimi si ndio naam alafu ile carbon dioxide inatoa ile miti ile miti inatumia si ndio naam sasa na hii miti pia ikiwa kwenye for example in high areas like for example mau inasaidia ile mvua ikinyesha ina penetrate kwenye soil na ikipenetrate kwenye soil haizui mm -hmm. ile 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 run of erosion ikienda chini na inabeba rutuba mzuri ikienda unaona hii mau forest it affects the ecosystem mm -hmm. of east africa kwa sababu most of the rivers or mito zile zinaenda zi, 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 zi kwenye ziwa victoria zinatoka hapo okay Utakuta sasa ukikata miti utaffect the climate ya mpaka huko Uganda wapi na kadhalika mm -hmm. kwa sababu unakuta most of the rivers come from there apart from Kagera from from huko pande Congo na Rwanda and all that mm -hmm. na hiyo uharibifu it affect mpaka huko pande ya Cairo so uta, utakuta kwamba if we don't If, 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 if we say it's only the women who will suffer then i don't think mm -hmm. we are saying the right sasa iwapo hizi yeah. sheria zipo na zitumiki nini kinafaa kufanywa na nyinyi kama wataalamu mmependekeza nini mimi ningependa kusema hivi research ziko zimefanywa mingi sana hata zinaonyesha dalili ya kwamba kuna shida mingi hata ukiona mm -hmm. ukienda kwenye mtandao you have a lot of research zimeshafanywa mm -hmm. the problem is implementation mm -hmm. there's no in, in other words Kingereza tunasema there is no political goodwill. Mm -hmm. We just do things half heartedly. Mm -hmm. Even hata ukiangalia sahi people forget every activity we do in the environment, mm -hmm. be it farming, be it livestock, mm -hmm. be it anything. Mm -hmm. You need clean air. Mm -hmm. Wewe na mimi we are part of the ecosystem. Kabisa. Eh? Kabisa. But if you keep it dirty, mm -hmm. 
Even the clean air you want, you'll not get. So we need to put a lot of focus on the environment to make sure it is clean. It cannot be clean. It is safi. Kama weo nasema, mina kambali na. Tungia kwenye kipenge cha kwanza cha katiba yetu ambacho kinazungumzia masala ya sheria. Yes. Kwa nini inakuwa ni vigumu sana ku... Ni kwa ni... Ni kwa nini inakuwa ni vigumu sana ku implement? Uh, unajua, first of all, at Article 1 ya Constitution, inasema hivi, all the sovereign power belong to the people of Kenya and shall be exercised only in accordance with the Constitution. Sasa ni wa Kenya wenyewe ndiyo wanafakula umio kwa uchafuli wa mazingira? Si wa Kenya peke yake. Ni viongozi. Kwa nini nasema hivu? Mm -hmm. he, he keep, he, this article 1 is very powerful okay. in the same way the sovereign power belongs to the people of Kenya mm -hmm. and they have donated it to the leaders mm -hmm. to use it but if the leaders don't use it effectively mm -hmm. what happens wonder when I be na fisha wenyewe they forget that they have work to do and you see this this you see goes to one and then uh, close one and then two the people may exercise their sovereign power either directly or through their democratically elected representatives mm -hmm. of course this one we may expand it even further okay mm -hmm. through election elect their leaders Enough. when they elect their leaders mm -hmm. those are the people who are supposed to represent their interest so but so anyway mm -hmm. anyway I may digress a little bit 2007 2013 2017, without going into detail, have we ever had credible and verified election? The question mark, I'll leave it to the jury outside there. So, all these things, if they go wrong, mm -hmm. certain things are bound to go wrong mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. That is how things start going wrong. wrong. You will find that in most advanced democracy, if you get mm -hmm. proper leadership, mm -hmm. some of these things can be corrected, and you cannot run away from that. Unadhani una, una mwananchi wa kawaida anaelewa hizi sheria? Uh, jibu ni yes or no. Kwa nini ndio? Kwa sababu ukiangalia uki mm -hmm. at least an average common man will know and mm -hmm. what is mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you cannot say that they, they don't know. Even they know that where things are not working very well. Mm -hmm. They know that our problem is leadership. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wanasema mm -hmm. palipo na moshi kuna moto. No. <laughs> Kwa nini la? Kwa nini la mm -hmm. is that you utakuta wengine waki wanasema aflani ya kisoma sheria pia si tumesoma. Lakini you have not taken your time to come and read it. To come and understand it. Sasa yes. ni utekelezaji wa sheria ama ni kusoma. Manake mimi na... Unajua sheria. Uh -huh. This is the constitution. Sidiyo? Kabisa. Wakati nilikuwa unajua constitution ya kwanza wanaita si windi Lancaster. Hii likuta kama siya zaliwa. Hii ndio konsuyo na kwanza ni miona. 2010. Na wakati liona, nika sema, let me take my time ni isome. Ili isome nika yelewa. Na nika, ndio kwa sabu nasema, we don't need new laws in this country if we cannot implement what already we have. Yes. Kwa nini inakuwa ni vigumu sana wanasiasa wetu wanapokwenda kule nje kupiga siasa? Ni vigumu sana kuongelea maswala ya mazingira. Sio hiyo ni shida hiyo ni changamoto sio Kenya peke yake mm -hmm. ni dunia mzima. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu watu bado wajafikia ile kiwango ya kusema kuna umuhimu wa mazingira. Lakini mm -hmm. Watu wameanza kuona changamoto. Hata ukiona bwana rais wa Marekani bwana Bill Clinton nani uh, uh, tr uh, Trump. Trump Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump today does not believe that there's climate change. Hata ukiangalia policy zake unajua historia ya ya, ya mambo ya mazingira imeanzia American ya America kwa sababu hao ndio wamekuwa na the first policies za uh, environment. Je, ukweli ukweli wa hali ya anga kubadilika ni nini aswa? Okay. Pengine sijui ni unataka kuunderstand mambo baada ya kubadilika mazingira Mazingira yameharibika kwa uh, upana upi Mazingira yameharibika kwa kiwango kubwa na uharibifu wa mazingira tukianza kusema if i go into little bit of kiingereza kidogo climate change it has been brought kwa sababu ya 
green wanasema kiingereza green green uh, house effect okay kwa sababu for example tunanunua magari na kadhalika unaweka petroli kaka petroli hiyo petroli inakuwa band in release the carbon dioxide which give the car the energy to run sasa so, nakuta hiyo 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 moshi is full of carbon dioxide as a carbon dioxide mm-hmm. it can dig in a foam blanket mm-hmm. which covers the the globe of the earth okay mm-hmm. as a key cover it can form here mm-hmm. is because now on the other hand tunakata miti kabisa na miti ina dekana itoa hiyo carbon dioxide mm-hmm. yeah? mm-hmm. at the same time in a dispatch oxygen which we breathe mm-hmm. sasa so, so, najua wakati hiyo hiyo ina form blanket hiyo carbon dioxide mm-hmm. ina interfere with the climate pattern mm-hmm. okay because there's that blanket sasa nakuta heat waves mm-hmm. ultraviolet light badala ya kuenda it disappears it get inakuwa reflected back naam sasa yes. uh, haya yote yamefanyika washika dau mwananchi wa kawaida makampuni tofauti tofauti serikali uh, yes. nini sasa kinafaa kufanywa cha muhimu watu waungane elimu mm-hmm. is very important mm-hmm. Policy makers mm-hmm. watengeneza ile policy ya kusaidia ya kuelimisha watu scientists we believe there's a lot of research imeshafanywa mm-hmm. then implementation mm-hmm. of policy of course this cannot happen if you don't have good leadership that's very very key mm-hmm. yes because otherwise the lead professor wangare madai mm-hmm. alisema mm-hmm. if we destroy the environment mm-hmm nature is very harsh mm-hmm. it will treat us very very harshly mm-hmm. i'm using our own words mm-hmm. and same hiyo kati kabla jaaga mm-hmm. now what wangari matai said mm-hmm. professor wangari matai said mm-hmm. may come to pass lakini sasa hivi atuoni kiongozi yote ambaye ana haiba ya wangari madhai nini imefanyika bana um, tukianza na wewe kama a kiongozi wa watalam katika nema nini kimefanyika atuoni watu wanatetea you keep on referring me kiongozi wa nema <laughs> i'm not lead expert me, me i'm a lead expert yes mm, ndio kwa but Kiswahili. yes yeah, lakini mimi niko kwenye justice and environment foundation mimi mm-hmm. unajua as one person you cannot do everything mm-hmm. mimi on my side i'm contributing on the issue of trying to restore on the issue of of kingereza tunasema uh, occupational health problems mm-hmm tumeshikiri tunashirikiana na mawakili we are trying to help those who have uh, wale wamekuwa na shida kwenye mazingira ya kazi mm-hmm. lakini kama ningeguzia haswa haswa kwenye hii mambo ya mazingira mm-hmm. Kenya bado tuko na nafasi inaweza mm-hmm. kuungana pamoja mm-hmm. turekebishe mazingira mm-hmm. serikali pia mimi ningeomba watoe rasilimali ya kutosha Mm-hmm. Yes. Naam, uh, tukizidi kusonga mbele. Sasa mashirika haya ya kibinafsi ambayo yanashughulikia masala ya mazingira yes. yanafanya ya kutosha kuhakikisha kuwa uh, mazingira yanachungwa. Wana siwezi kusema wafanye la kutosha, wanajaribu kwa sababu hata sisi tunajaribu kwa sababu lazima ushirikiane na shikadawa kutoka nje ndio mm-hmm. mwezo kufanya kazi pamoja mm-hmm. kwa sababu itakubidi waandike proposal mm-hmm. kulingana na vile mambo iko mm-hmm. alafu wanatoa rasilimali mm-hmm. ndio ili uweze ku, kusaidia mm-hmm. na hasa hasa pale tujafanya kazi sana ile tigependa inatakana tu, tujaribu kabisa mm-hmm. ni, ni mambo ya kuzuia waribifu wa misitu mm-hmm. mambo ya kuelimisha watu mm-hmm. ya kwamba ukikaa kwa misitu iko vile unaharibu mazingira mm-hmm. na hii mazingira mm-hmm. wewe mwenyewe kwa mfano utataka nyama mm-hmm. utataka samaki mm-hmm. utataka kuni na kadhalika na haya yote yanatoka kwenye mm-hmm. msitu kwenye misitu na kadhalika sasa a uh, a uh, uh, stwani langu la mwisho ni kuhusiana na uh, waziri wa mazingira Keria Kotobiko amesema kwamba watu wahame kutoka mau tumekuwa tukisikia uh, wimbo huu kutoka miaka iliyopita sasa hivi hali ni mbaya aje katika msitu huu. Um, unajua hiyo msitu wa Mao. Kule kutobikwa na anazungumzia hii shida ya Mao naweza sema ni ime, 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 imekuwa zaidi ya miaka kumi. Hata tukiangalia around 2008 ilikuweko 
-hmm. sio kitu inaanza jana mm -hmm. na msitu wa mao mm -hmm. ina umuhimu sana kwa sababu hiyo misitu hiyo ecosystem inachangia ubora wa mazingira sio Kenya peke yake inaguzia it is part of the it's part of the how do you call it it is affecting the ecosystem kuingia le Victoria in affect back here le Victoria basin mm -hmm. ikielekea mpaka huko mm -hmm. Nile basin mpaka huko mm -hmm. Egypt yote mm -hmm. ikishikana na blue all whatever mm -hmm. sasa mm -hmm. nini ningesema hivi mm -hmm. watu wanaishi huko mm -hmm. yanapaswa kwanza waelimishwe 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 mm -hmm. utawafurusha pale watarudi na wana elimu ya kutosha na wana elimu ya kutosha yes ataenda. yeah mm -hmm. waelimishwe utafurusha ndio mm -hmm. na pia population pia inaongezeka mm -hmm. tunasahau population inaongezeka kwa sababu wa Kenya wanazaa sana kwa sababu 1 million per year every year 10 year projection 10 million yeah. eh? so <laughs> inafaa in tuna tunaelimisha watu ubora wa hizo zote safi mm. si mm. tumalizie hapo leo sheria uhuru na haki mm. uh, ndio mjadala ambao tumekuwa na mgeni wetu amekuwa ni Godfrey Onyango na sasa hivi mtazamaji shukran sana kwa wote ambao wamefanikisha matangazo haya wale wote ambao wametazama tunashukuru sana kwa muda wako upeo wa makala ya Jumatatu ya Jumatatu uh, saa tatu unakamilika sasa hivi shukran sana mwenzangu Andrew Kilevi a uh, tunaweza kufanikisha shughuli hii njema kwa na usiku mwema na baraka zake Mwenyezi Mungu ziwe na